Sorry about the abrupt stop there, folks. So for negative two, it is less than or equal to negative two. So we are going to use that top function piece. So two times negative two and then plus eight. And that would give me F of negative two equals four. Next, we are going to look at how we can evaluate these piecewise functions graphically. So again, I like looking at both using the equation and reading from the graph because that's going to help us when we go to actually graph one of these piecewise functions. So we're gonna move to the graphic approach and this font is kind of little, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in there. All right, folks, so if I wanna find F of two, we're gonna to go to that input at two right here and see where we lie on our function. So at f of two, we are getting an output of negative one. Easy enough. At f of negative three, we are one, two, three, here. Now at negative three, am I defined at the open dot or at the closed dot? We're defined at the closed dot. And I'm gonna say that is roughly 2.5-ish. At f of negative one, we plug that in for an input, I'm not defined at that open dot. I'm also not defined at that other open dot. So what do we say about f of negative one? We say DNE, it does not exist. So our function is not defined at that input. Does it pass the vertical line test? Yeah, absolutely, because it is not hitting multiple points along that vertical line. Lastly, f of negative four. We plug negative four as an input and our output is on this piece at two. So folks, what I would like you to do is pause or stop this video. And before you go on to the next video, I want you to try this set of three problems using this function and these function inputs using that graph. We'll see you in the next video.